Drawing graphs is an essential skill in physics because it allows you to see the pattern and the relationship between some data that you might have taken. Now it's always best to do this on squared paper with a pencil and a long ruler. And uh, depending on the data you've got, we're going to just start with the axes. And you want to make the axes as big as possible so you can plot your data over as much of the, the graph paper as you possibly can. So I'm just going to do this one over here. And obviously, again, this depends on the actual data that you've collected. When it comes to actually putting the numbers on, uh, it's always best to go up in maybe twos, fives or tens. Uh, so don't go up in three at a time because then it gets really hard to plot your data. And you must always go up by the same amount each time. So perhaps you've got zero, five, ten and so on. And maybe we're going to go up in twos on this axis. And the other thing to do with both the x and the y axis is to make sure that you label it. So perhaps we had time. Uh, so this is a quantity and then we're also going to put a line here and then we have our units afterwards, so maybe time in seconds. And maybe this is the distance that something has gone in centimetres. So now I've labelled both of the axes. It's always worth taking extra care when it comes to plotting your points. And when you do this, you don't need to do like a massive cross or a, a small circle. I just find that uh, just putting a small cross like this is absolutely fine. So maybe you put your, your data in and it looks perhaps something a bit like this. So you plot your data and making sure this kind of covers as much of the page as possible. And then it comes to putting in, in this case, a line of best fit. Now obviously the type of graph and what you do with the data really depends on the practical experiment that you're carrying out. If it's a curve like this, I'm just going to put in a curved line of best fit. And that's it. Uh, so the main things for a graph are keep it as big as possible, do it in pencil in case you make any mistakes and need to rub anything out, make sure that you label your x and your y axis with whatever you're um, actually plotting and the unit, go up in an even number each time so you've got the same interval all the time, take care when you plot your data looking at the results table that you've got and then do an appropriate line of best fit. If you'd like to find out a little bit more about lines best fit have a look in the video below this one.